Hey guys, you here, right? Hey, Gene. So, uh, over the past couple of days, I've been obviously banging this game out. I've completed all the heists. Uh, not properly, of course, and not with the same players for each one. Everything in this video will be explained. Everything will be showcased of what you can obtain, except for the clothes and masks, which obviously uh, you guys can see for your own time. But uh, the main things I've sort of covered, obviously, uh, not including the prices for the masks and the clothing. Uh, that's really to do with cosmetics and the uh, consumer's choice. But in this video, I'm going to be sort of explaining, sort of in depth, I guess, how the heist works. Um, what you can expect in the future from what I personally calculated and it seems quite logical as well So given the current e economy Let's say excluding the money glitches and stuff, you know, let's say someone's got an average of Throughout the playing of one and a half years in preparation for this, you know Everyone should technically have or made over 16 million, you know, for whatever jobs you've done racing team death matches golfing Whatever, you know, you should technically have made over 16 million throughout the time since GTA 5 has been out. So it makes sense to release heist now because the total money that you have, you know, you must require to be able to purchase everything from the heist DLC comes up to around 16 million rounded up. So in this video, you sort of see all the showcases briefly of all the new sort of vehicles, the planes, you know, boats, uh, dinghy, whatever, uh, helicopters, cars, you know the military vehicles all of this that you get or the random pegasus vehicles as well which kind of weigh like the mule and the you know boxville all of these random things all of this is included in this video you guys will see sort of you can skip to all of the parts or the relevant stuff if you have low attention span in the description below there is a time timing set for each part of the video you can check but yeah i'm briefly showcasing everything that people want to see that haven't seen it yet so this is the hydra it's got a couple of settings uh you can switch with the right arrow on the d-pad one of which is a VTOL sort of uh, mechanism, like any sort of helicopter works, you know, vertical takeoff. And uh, if you switch that off, you get some normal sort of, you know, blazer takeoff, like any other aircraft, you just take off on the runway or land. You can switch between that. And it's pretty cool, obviously, given the situation of what you want to do. You can do that with the Hydra, with the options given. Obviously, uh, in free roam, if you want to take someone out in a tight situation, switch on the VTOL mode, just hover down and just go crazy with the cannons and missiles the cannons on the new you know the military vehicles like these couple of these new helicopters the valkyrie and the savage or even the hydra extremely super powerful man few shots all it takes a couple of bullets and anything can literally blow up in front of you even the titan can blow up in two shots which you'll see but this is the valkyrie 2.85 million now totaling up 5.85 million obviously if you were to just purchase the hydra and the valkyrie so there's a lot of money obviously but you have to understand how rockstar's business model works obviously it's a free dlc you have to consider that and all their dlcs in the past have been free so i'm excluding the previous past dlcs i'm just focusing mainly on the heist dlc because this is quite important to pay attention to how this works so like i said total requirement 16 million i'm sure a lot of people would have that excluding the previous um you know dlcs and with that if you don't have that obviously at this point of dlc it's best if you do the heists and then there's certain challenges of awards if you complete you would have a total of that money there for you to be able to purchase everything so that's that's pretty cool the way rockstar have calculated the pricings for each vehicle makes sense you know it's not about you know individual um releases of the vehicles and you know a lot of people ask me why is the technical worth 950k you know uh, at first it wouldn't make sense but then when you sort of see what, what they've done with the balancing of the prices it does make sense so you guys should definitely tune into the end of the video and explain all of that but this is savage the difference between a savage and a valkyrie a valkyrie if you're piloting you can't actually shoot while piloting whereas with this is sort of like the annihilator you can but it's much heavier version much bigger and um, in terms of racing you could say this understeers more than annihilate obviously that makes no sense in terms of this but it's extremely heavy so it's quite difficult to maneuver around the air but the cannon on this shit is extremely powerful check this out when the titan spawns right just look at that look at this right look at this just is what 1.95 million is a million less than the uh, valkyrie but look at that just instantly blew up there that's how powerful this is man so you see that they must have certainly upped the uh, damage on all of these and a lot of people might even argue it's overpowered but to be honest uh, this is quite difficult to maneuver it does require a little bit of skill to be honest if you want to really really go go at it and uh, go on the rampage and not get taken out obviously but yeah obviously uh, there's a target lock on system for this 
And there's Gunners on the side as well for both Valkyrie and the Savage. So I'm briefly explaining all of this. Obviously, it's quite difficult to explain all of it. It's also on the bat. I don't have anything open. Just sort of uh, talking for the experience. But yeah, from experience, uh, th this right here, you can unlock you unlock this through the uh, final heist prep. Or the fourth heist, actually. Sorry. Yeah, the fourth heist. Uh, no, sorry. This is the last heist. Yeah, I get confused between the fourth and fifth because I've done it so quick that I sort of uh, lost track. But yeah, you unlock this during the process of the fifth heist of setup to the final bank heist. Man, it's uh, quite a simple mission, actually, that one. But yeah, prison bus. What the hell? 550k. You know, once again, it's like, why on earth this Pegasus vehicle worth 550k, you know? This obviously is from the prison break DLC, second, um, not DLC, fucking hell, heist, which is second heist. Um, you get this. That was actually really annoying uh, heist that it was it wasn't difficult it just glitched out for us I'm sure it glitched out for some of you guys at the end you know having to escape from the vellum a five seater yeah uh, we kind of got stuck at the end with the cops not disappearing for like four hours so we had to sort of feel, solve the problem ourselves and really just think of an alternative solution once again and then we managed to uh, do it somehow unfortunately now we're totaling up to 8.35 million just from showcasing the past five vehicles that we can get from just specifically the heist dlc now coming into the vellum 5 seater which is 995k i guess you guess you could say for luxurious purposes but like i said you should you shouldn't really focus on the money specifically for individual vehicles are provided from this dlc you got to think of it as a whole and really calculate it from a total point of view with everything that they've included and really understand why they've done this because when you think about it with the whole 16 million if you were to spend it on all the vehicles uh, and obviously with high still being there to be able to replay that to keep getting that money back from doing that obviously eventually when when you get that money in, and you have the choice obviously to you know if you know if you don't have the patience to grind high style you can obviously have buy you know shark cards and with shark cards you need to to get 16 millions obviously you got to spend 200 dollars or 130 quid in english currency so if a one that's what for that's what one person so one person Essentially, if, you, if you're not bothered to grind 16 million to unlock everything on day one, or, or you, you know you don't have the patience to grind the game out, and you don't really enjoy it as much of grinding the heist or whatnot, for whatever reason, you know, you're know you spending essentially 130 quid for this particular DLC, which is crazy. So Rockstar obviously make a lot of money out of this. But then I, I sort of obviously once, once again up to the consumer for that choice. So uh, this is interesting, you know. It really is interesting because personally for me, doing these heists essentially um i didn't really have uh that much expectations you know coming into this uh you know from waiting for one and a half years i honestly did not expect much because i know for a fact you know i knew that it's just it's just the way the whole the whole market works really and how much the game can handle you're sure they can do more with this they could have done more you know really and truly is it that exciting yeah for some people yeah why not but for the regular players who play this every single day i guess myself and a lot of people that i play with within the community honestly the response i received is pretty much the same from my point of view as well a lot of people weren't that excited you know um a lot of people some people have high expectations and that's not always the greatest of cases because you know Essentially, what heists is, you know, the build up setup missions are just normal missions, you could say, with co op gameplay with different players, with cutscenes, and then the finale of the heist for each of them didn't really last a lot that long, to be honest. If you were to really get your, you know, get your shit down or figure stuff out, at first it may take time, but then once you figure it out and do it again, you can complete all five heists in one day. Like I've said, you can complete all five heists in one day on hard mode and just get it straight with all, if all play, four players are synchronized and know exactly what they're doing. So Boxville is another Pegasus vehicle that you unlock in Warstock. Uh, this is from the last heist, or the first mission from the last heist. And uh, this is sort of the first setup mission. I don't know why they brought this in. 45k, but it's still obviously included part of this DLC. So I had to put it up there just for those who would have probably wanted it. In this situation right now, you see, I wanted to actually throw this in the water because I didn't like it. I just wanted to get rid of it, but clearly you refused to do so. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to drive it in there. And then when I blew it up in the water, nothing actually happened to it. I thought this is actually uh, bulletproof or some shit, man. I was fooled. Afterwards, I realized it was just a, uh, it was just an illusion. See, look, it looked like it didn't blow up. You know, it's like what? What? Is it? Is it actually bulletproof? Look at that RPG direct impact, but it's not blowing up. That that's uh, that's weird. That is actually completely weird. Look, it's untouched, unfazed, and just disappears now. So. 
afterwards, like, all right, okay, you know, let, let me give it a proper test because this clearly wasn't working. It's, it's still there. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, man, Boxville, and there's quite a few weird vehicles that you would have probably never expected, even from all these people giving out leaks information and stuff. By the way, this confirmation, it is, it is not bulletproof. It is just like any other ordinary vehicle, but it's just Boxville. It's just a Boxville with um, printing on the uh, side of it. It's obviously similar sort of uh, design to any other truck that's uh, sort, sort of um, suit to that style. Once again, this is a Mule 32K, and this is part of the DLC as well. Just uh, sort of a, it's got a grill bar in the front. Other than that, there's a lot of similar trucks to this design. So I'm not sure where the motive for that came is for, you know, Rockstar to add that to the Pegasus section. For me personally, it does seem like they're running out of space on in the San Andreas Autos website as, along with the legendary motorsport. So they're using this as an excuse. I'm, for this is the first time ever I've seen a bunch of Mexicans together that like that in their uh, sort of um, identical costu costumes together like that it's, it's um it's quite crazy my apologies for running them over though that was not intentional or nothing against them but uh yeah this is uh this is obviously a weird addition once again just like the box full that rockstar seems to have added if you guys know any other why they've done that just let me know in the comments man i'm not i'm not exactly sure why or who would be interested in this or who would ever want to purchase this but this had to be included obviously because it's part of the dlc man but yeah my thoughts on it so far my personal opinion on this entire dlc uh like I said, I'm not really that um, guess, uh, excited about it, but it's still something to do on the sideline, something to do to get money along with the racing that I personally managed to get over 40 million from anyway. So high, uh, it's something that I'm definitely going to do to complete the challenges and the extra um, bonuses that you can get the awards, I suppose. If you complete all the heists without dying once, you know, with the same group of players you get, 10 uh 10 million bonus for that also uh there's diff there's different uh, there's different actually bonuses let me just read it out quickly if you do obviously for the first time complete each heist you get a million bonus um so you get a bonus cash reward but if you do it all in order complete the heist in order including the setups to receive a million cash bonus as well and then you get a lawyer's challenge where if you complete all the heists including setups with the same team of players to receive the extra million so total basically you're going to get 12 million if you complete all the awards because criminal mastermind challenge is the last one which you complete all the heist and hard in order with the same group of players without losing any lives to receive that massive bonus like i said before and also if you want to get a trophy and whatnot specifically for xbox one and ps4 complete all the heist in first person mode which obviously is kind of straightforward without and that's that's up to you you can die as however many you want how many times you want but you know you're going to get a total of 12 million um with a little bit of cash bonus i guess on the side for uh, doing the heist in, in those sort of requirements and settings so that, that's what i'm saying if you're totally spending 16 million and you get those in the, those bonuses this is not including the actual heist potential in you know take because obviously it depends on who you're doing it with so, you know most people generically speaking would want 25 um percent cut between the four players right it, personally for me i don't really mind i'm not too fussed about it like even if i'm investing in 100k to start the heist first uh, for the setup and whatnot like the last heist cost 100k for the leader to do start it up with all the setup missions before the finale but still you know 25 percent is basically the way i go about it if i'm doing it with people but there's some people out there who you know like to be a little bit uh, i don't know what's the the term to describe them but they did want a little bit more from the cut you know 40 percent me you get 20 you get 10 percent you got easy job this and that so it it's up to people's choices how serious you take heists really uh, honestly uh you know how you guys get money uh, you know alternatively not from doing heists you know some people don't give a shit like myself other people do care about the money they get from the heist because obviously you, you are spending time with the group of players you ha you're having to put in the effort and do it properly and obviously given the server issues and whatnot there's, there seems to have been a lot of issues having to get players together a lot of people timing out obviously when there's four players required if one person times out and that's it you're screwed so that has been an issue but there's been so many different uh, ways to solve that you know one way if some rockstar server servers actually do end up going down you can just in, end up just choosing the character transfer option you can just get into a lobby right away like, just like that and if you if once again if save is not successful you just go into the ls customs and uh change your mods up it will just automatically save there's so many little tr tricks that you can do to try and get the game working the multiplayer working with the rockstar game services because th i've had a huge issues with that personally i'm sure a lot of people have but th this should uh, obviously die out in about a month or two because obviously during peak times when people come back from school and work 
everyone wants to bang out heists is the hype is still there i guess so it is understandable so you can't really blame rockstar for that although you may have expectations as a company with these guys that make so much so much money to solve that and you know but then again you, you got you have to consider the scale of people coming into this game with the hype train so yeah i'm just like i said personally i would just advise you guys to be patient i personally had to be patient extremely patient uh, in certain certain missions i had to spend hours and hours not because of the mission being hard to be honest the overall experience in hard mode with all five heists hasn't been that difficult it's just time consuming especially when people fuck up just stupid mistakes i personally made horrible mistakes there's been some funny fails during the streams as well which you'll notice you know so sometimes you just sort of over speculate a situation although it's quite straightforward and they just do something absolutely ridiculous and stupid don't pay attention to the time and stuff like that the Mesa, by the way, is exactly the same as the normal Mesa. It's just got a cage around it. Uh, no customizable options as well. Currently now, total of 11.1 million. So, you know, this, this is all just totaling up. And this is not including, by the way. Uh, so what basically rounds up is about 15.1 million without including the modifications and customization for performance. Obviously, cosmetics up to the player's choice or how much money they want to spend on paint job and stuff like that. So I haven't included that. So I sort of gave a rough estimate, you know, rounding up from 15.1 million, which is a total actual price without customizing or modifi modifying to 16 million if you were to do all of that for all the vehicles given, including Pegasus and one. Obviously, you can't do that for mod shot. But the given vehicles that you can customize, you know, it's going to be 16 million in total. But yeah, guys, uh, obviously, with that being said, with you having to spend this much money than having to do existing heists, I'm quite curious to see, actually, this is obviously a little bit of speculation, but, you know, what, what's there going to be in the future? You know, it's, it's, there's got to be definitely more heists coming. I'm sure they've got that prepared as well, because five heists, if you can complete that in a day, which now you can, you know, quite easily, if you understand what you're doing, then surely, right, this is quite logical, surely people will get bored quite quickly essentially you know if you were to get rid of the title heist you're just doing co-op missions you know um and honestly like let me know what you guys honestly think just think about it right i'm gonna ask you guys a personal question right one and a half years right a lot of people are demanding heists you know obviously we are not sure if if, the, if that was there to be on multiplayer in the first place or rockstar just rushed it into multiplayer because of the immense demand they were receiving through the community you know newswire posts gta forums so taking that into consideration do you guys think what they have provided up for us with all of that taking into account you know is, is this worth it are you guys satisfied you know obviously considering this is a free dlc but then having to spend the time to grind the money in total of 16 million to get what you can from this free dlc but if you don't have the time to grind that with coordination of team and you know going through the heist and spending hours on that depending on how quick you can do it whatnot all those variables given you know you may end up buying shark cars essentially for the one individual you're spending 140 quid for this dlc so uh there's a lot of technicalities obviously everyone's different but it's all, it's all giving you sort of a perspective from this video right Just, uh pick up 1.35 million lampatelli sasco you know 680k now we're approaching 15 million right now asap like this this is covering everything we already covered a dinghy which is 125k by the way if you saw that missed it out completely but yeah like i said personally for me one and a half years i never really had high expectations because going coming into this i, I sort of never really showed that much interest for heist because the way i saw it is the way i see it now you know uh i'm not really surprised by it you know the, the way it would have worked and the only way it would have worked properly is through the missions perspective you know these guys sort of covered it up uh, from this point of view you know like only way to get to the final heist if you do the setup missions and co-op with everything obviously being scripted with small little cutscenes and whatnot mostly it's a little bit of traveling there and then you know uh the whole concept of majority of the missions is to go to a particular location take a wave of players out and wait for the next heat take those out obviously hard mode is essentially is just uh them being a little bit more spongy because of the extra armor they have so a little bit more bullets required unless obviously you get a headshot so i guess a little bit of skill involved in that but if you have auto aim that should really should not be a problem so yeah Karim, karuma there at n 525k so yeah 15.1 million total without including the customization modifications or performance upgrades but like i said i'm gonna round it up roughly to uh, 16 million you know including all the customization modifications or you can even include the mask and clothes but that's up to you but it might be more or less from 16 million 
given the consumer choice with what they prefer for customization. But in total summary, basically, uh, if you complete heist uh, with all the awards and getting that, you get about 12 million, not including obviously the potential take, you know, you obviously get more, you get roughly about that 15 mil, 16 mil, depending on who you play with, how much uh, potential take you get from the percentage. Uh, cut from each of the four players, you know, 25%, maybe 50%, 60%, 100%, I don't know, you you can tell me, um, it's up to the players you play with. So, if you don't do heist, you know, if you don't grind it out, if you can't be bothered, obviously you have to be chart cards, which would be $200 for one person, 130 quid, like I explained, and Rockstar will make it rain. So, at the end of the day, it's up to you, you make the choice, but this obviously is sort of a hint, and they, they've sort of arranged this in, in preparation for future DLCs, so no one's going to be broke, you know, people will be able to make their money back quickly given these heists um 60 million you know people may think right now oh it's a lot of money but honestly it's not you know you have to take into consideration that what you get back from doing the heist so it's a really nice system that rockstar brought in so it's win-win for everyone win-win for the you know the company itself and the consumers as well because we have the choice it's up to us to to do what we have to do to get the money in the first place so yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I saw I'm giving you guys a brief explanation, my personal opinion. But I will be bringing out heist guides for those that want to do it as, as quickly as possible. There's, there's a few things and shortcuts that we figured out how to do heist quickly as possible. So uh, I'm going to try and get that out as well and do some live walkthroughs, guides and whatnot. But yeah, one last thing I did sort of mention in the text at the beginning of the video. Uh, a lot of you might be confused as to where the Lost Slam Van is. Well, basically Rockstar is sort of like a little hint that they've provided uh with that particular vehicle that they did not provide for this actual heist dlc but it's sort of like a hint that there's going to be more heist coming out in the future sort of like a speculation because if you guys do remember hydro was actually listed in content creator for a while until they brought it out for the heist dlc so with that being said currently you know this lost slam is available on the content creator that means there's potentially a, you could you know it's sort of hinting that it's going to be in the future heist because it was already within uh, the fourth finale heist um, where we had to escort the two trucks with the Korean rebel technical and the gang mobs kept attacking us with the lost slam band. So that was uh, sort of a hint. It was there, you know, in the game. It's still in the game, but only for that particular mission. But you can't get it on multiplayer or single player. It's currently just available on content creator section to be placed down as an example but can't really be used because it's not in the options yet. So it makes sense. It's, there's bound to be more heists in the future. Uh, that's the only sort of link up to it at the moment. Like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of speculations, but this to me personally makes sense. So uh, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys sort of understand why there is no lost slam ban in this DLC. It's sort of like Rockstar's way of saying expect to see more in the future. And this little hint to leave them behind like an Easter egg. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Shake it. Sign out good night peace. Yeah. Hey guys, you here, hey, 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 G unit. Pulling up the website again for the San Andreas Super Here we have. Today, showcase.